Welcome to the Force Tutorials Maya Masterclass. In today's video, we are going to discuss the difference between nerves and polygons. Now in Maya, there are two ways to create something. You can either model with nerves or you can model with polygons. But the difference is the nerves are made up of curves and the polygons are made up of flat planes or flat edges. For example, if I select the polygon sphere that we have in green right here uh, and I zoom in, you can see that the polygons are made of flat surfaces and flat edges and you can see the edges here and in order to make this object more smoother we need to add a lot more polygons to it but on the other hand as you can see the nerve sphere gives us a curved surface with a lot less detail the reason is because the nerve sphere is made up of curves and as i said our polysphere is made up of flat planes now you might be thinking why would we use the polygons when we can have a lot more smoother surface with nerves if you want to create high detail or complex detail in your object, you cannot do that with nerves because nerves cannot have hard edges because they are inherently made of curves. So for example, if I go to the components of our polygon sphere and if I go to the vertex mode, you can see that I can affect one vertex without affecting any vertex around it. But if I go to the components of our nerve sphere and nerves have completely different components compared to our polygon models. It has control vertexes, uh, surface points and hulls and isoparm. So for example, if we go to control vertexes, which is somewhat equivalent to vertexes in our polygon model, this is how control vertex looks. And, and if you select few of the vertexes, you can see that it gives us really smooth deformations and that can be beneficial when you're trying to model something that has a smooth even surface for example you can create a wine glass with nerve circle you can create a vase you can create a chess piece making those kind of objects with nerves is really easy and if we move on to our cubes you can see that our polygon cube is made up of hard edges but then again you would say what do we have here we have a nerves cube and you just said that nerves cannot have hard edges well this is not a cube this is just four planes arranged together in a group if we try to select this nerve sphere and we click on it you can see that we have selected only one side of the nerve cube and if we move it only one side of the nerve cube will move now none of these four sides are joined together because if we were to join the sides together it will smooth the surface but there is a place for nerves modeling as well as polygon modeling within your workflow mostly when you're modeling you would be using your polygon modeling but when you want to model something that has a smooth surface like a bowl or as i said a chess piece a wine glass a bottle or a vase these are just a few examples of what you can achieve with nerves you can model those objects really really easily with nerves nerves are used a lot when you're modeling a vehicle a car a bike because you can achieve smooth overall shapes with nerves and then you can convert the nerves to polygons and add more detail to it while on the other hand if you're gonna make anything for let's say games movies animation or anything that's gonna go into production you're probably gonna stick mostly with the polygon modeling and don't worry we're gonna go in detail in both polygon modeling and nerves modeling within this course as we move forward so i'm gonna end this video right here and as always, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, drop a comment. And if you want to support me directly or buy some cool stuff, link to my merch store and my Patreon is in the description down below. And I'll see you in the next video.